found out when we got home was that one of our staff's most favorite things about our convention is the last night there. And it's the night that we take the opportunity to pay tribute as a staff to the outgoing chairman for that year. Uh, I didn't give much thought to it until I got back and our staff started coming into my office and said, gee, you need to get on YouTube and pay tribute to, to Tim because he was such a great chairman for us this year. So here you go. We're going to give it a shot. Your association is run by a board whose officers are elected in a process that assures our board chairs are both ready for the job and have the confidence of our membership. A process that, as I have said many times before, has given us providential leadership throughout the three decades that I've been able to witness personally. My privilege every year to offer a tribute to each chairman on behalf of the staff as he or she passes the office to another. But every such tribute is also a reminder to all of us that elections matter, that process matters, and the KBA has got one that works exceptionally well. The latest proof is Tim Barnes. Tim has presided as your chairman during a year that has been both the best of times and the worst of times for the Kentucky Bankers Association. Financially, we hit records by wide margins in every category, revenue, reserves, cash flow. Our commercial insurance program is now writing banks in Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, and Ohio, with their revenue up over a third this year. Employee benefits insurance was improved as a result of expanded member services and bringing some administrative functions in-house. The HOPE program grew to a point of having to invest in new software and personnel to handle its growth. Even the Asheville Convention that kicked off Tim's years was the most successful in KBA history. For the KBA staff, however, it was a year of unprecedented challenge and adversity. We pride ourselves on running the operations with little to no waste. This year, Four members of the staff were on extended medical leave, including three members of our management team. We celebrated one of them, a new baby for Natalie Kalen, but with the others, we shared as much as we could, a grueling journey of extended medical treatment. Meanwhile, we surprisingly found ourselves in a monumental legislative battle over our egregious tax imbalance, a battle that we were assured would not occur this session until it did. And we're in our fourth year of an audit by the Department of Labor whose staff seems in no hurry to resolve. So Tim took up his office in a year that has been unique in its demands. Tim saw our struggles and stepped into the breach at every single opportunity. Every member of, every member of the staff felt his determination to find whatever slack we were suffering and to pick it up with unfailing good humor and laser insight. I personally talked with every member of our staff about their experience of Tim, and every single one of them said they'll never forget the smile on his face that got every conversation or meeting off to a wonderful start, no matter how tough its agenda was going to be. Here's what we knew about Tim on the day he took office. He was a center grad who began his banking career in his hometown of Paintsville at Citizens National Bank. He did a short stint at Liberty National of Louisville before being lured to First National Bank of Corbin. And when it sold, he took on the ultimate challenge of starting a bank. The Bank of Corbin, now known as Hometown Bank, opened its doors in 2000 and is now in five different locations. So the man is one fine community banker. But here's what else we learned about Tim. The man loves sports, any sport, every sport. If there's a score to be kept, he's right there keeping it. He's playing, coaching, 
work in the concession stands. You name it, he'll do it. After a lifetime of that, Tim Barnes knows a thing or two about teams. Most of our chairmen have had a healthy streak of competitiveness over the years. Tim Barnes took it to a new level with his predecessor, Mike Mercer. Both have the gift of humor and their banner at the, at the start of every monthly update conference call was priceless. Tim couldn't help comparing the records being set in his term with the also fairly strong reports of his predecessor, Mike. But Mike Mercer gives as good as he gets and was soon referring to Tim as Cyclops or one eye in honor of the repeated eye surgeries that Tim was having to endure throughout the year. Now that is a friendship. Tim also knew the importance of knowing your teammates. I cannot remember a chairman who spent as much time on the road to meet our members in their communities, even those who, who were 10 hour drive to and from Corbin. I'm betting his coaches from his player days would have said of Tim that he had a sense of where to be and how to contribute and it's only gotten stronger over the years. After establishing his own De Novo Bank, he founded the De Novo Roundtable to support fellow bankers with common challenges of starting a bank from scratch. With Tim as its moderator, the group still meets quarterly at the KBA headquarters for important industry conversations. Our staff was honored that Tim gave, gave our endorsed companies an opportunity to present their programs to this roundtable. Those invitations led to expanded use of KBA products and services with a direct impact on our record setting year. We also learned that Tim Barnes is the soul of hospitality. A grill master of rare skill and a partisan of the Green Egg who organizes and participates in Green Egg barbecues all over the country, Tim and his wife Dee hosted our staff for dinner during group meetings and we are still talking about his smoked and grilled Pike County steak. That, that would be baloney for everybody else. But Tim was doing all this in the midst of being a community banker, and I was reminded every day what that means. I would get a call from him on a bus chaperoning his bank's senior citizens trip to an event in Louisville, or helping to arrange transportation for a high school basketball or football team when something went wrong things that I thought were way out of the norm for me to handle. Tim did so with love, grace, and compassion. For everyone who entered his sphere without so much as a clue that this wasn't the normal way to do things. Tim was doing all this with the indispensable support of Dee, his wife of 23 years. Dee was working for KBA past chairman, Denny Dorton, when they first met. Denny heard about their first date, and he advised her not to go. She asked why not, and he answered, because Tim will take you away from us, Dee. Dee assured him that it was just a date, and it was no big deal. But Denny knew them both well enough to know better. They have two very talented sons, Tanner and Abe, but Tim's golden child is known to be his golden retriever champ. Greater love hath no man for a pet than to fly his family to Florida for Christmas, but drive himself so that he could take Champ along for the ride. Tim's huge heart for animals has him partnering with the local Humane Society to find homes for shelter animals. And the man's love of travel, planned down to the very minute with a spreadsheet, has earned him the nickname of Clark Griswold from the famed Vacation Movie. If you want to get Dee started, you ask her about the trip out west this summer, and then stand back. Dee, we have enjoyed seeing your smile and hospitality at every event this year, and we so much appreciate your willingness, along with Tanner, Abe, and yes, even Champ, to share Tim with us this year. A banker's banker, a pillar of his community, beloved of his family and friends, this is the man you elected to serve as chairman of the KBA over the past year, and he served you above and beyond the call. Thank you so much, Tim, from the Bankers of Kentucky, 
and from the KBA staff and board of directors.